Welcome to Hope is Here. My name is Greg Horn, and I want to talk to you about a topic is the reason why we started Hope is Here, suicide. And it's not a word that uh, you like to talk about because obviously it means somebody's life has ended prematurely. And recently we had two people that, if you looked at it from the world standpoint of view, that they had it all. Uh, Kate Spade, uh, the fashion designer that multi-millionaire uh, fame fortune took her own life hung herself uh, and left a note for her 13 year old daughter that it's not your fault but ask your dad and I just still as I even say that here a couple of weeks later it still just kind of makes me nauseous to think about that 13 year old little girl uh, reading that note and being left behind that your mom who you know in the world's eyes had everything but somehow lost hope and then a couple days later on that friday anthony bourdain that the famous traveler that goes around trying food all over the world and very very interesting intelligent funny talented guy uh took his life i believe it was in france if i'm not mistaken and i believe he had 11 year old daughter if i'm not mistaken and i just nobody saw it coming either one kate spade or anthony bourdain yes kate spade uh seems like possibly hers was caused by a separation from her husband that but that had been for about six months so it wasn't anything really new but it just reiterates something that uh, i heard many years ago in a sermon and i'm not sure who even said it uh, but there's a god-sized shaped hole in all of us that only he can fill only he can fill and when you put your hope in other things relationships material goods um, you're going to be let down because at the end of the day there is only god his son jesus uh, the reason god sent jesus is to let us know that uh, we could have a personal relationship with him and i love the song the old hymn that says my hope is built on nothing less than jesus blood and his righteousness and friends, we need that. I need that. Uh, I'll be honest, I've been discouraged lately, just been going through some rough times myself personally. And, uh, man, without Jesus, I don't have any hope. Um, it, it's as simple as that. Without Jesus, uh, to me, there is no hope. And so I want to talk a little bit about this topic of suicide today that, um, you know, I've, I've said the prayer, unfortunately, and I want to keep this show real and authentic as always, that... Um, you know, there's been times that I have prayed in my past that, Lord, if I don't wake up tomorrow morning, that's okay. And I know for some of you are like, oh, my goodness, Greg, that's awful. I thought you were a follower of Jesus. Well, I am. Yet, I also want you to realize that, you know, we all get discouraged sometimes. And I know that, I know that you know, it's not easy sometimes. And yet, that's why we do this whole program. Um, that's why we do hope is here and i know there's also a lot of people that are saying yeah i, I get that man i've been there and uh, i've thought the same thing and that's why we base this whole program off of romans chapter 15 verse 13 i'm reading out of the new living translation i pray that god the source of hope will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in god you trust in him then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I know some of you grew up in churches and they called it the Holy Ghost out of the King James Version. And it sounds kind of spooky and weird, but, you know, we, we don't talk enough about it in the church. And uh, the Holy Spirit, Jesus said before he died, he told uh, the disciples, the 12 guys he did life with for three years when he did ministry, that when he left, he was going to leave a counselor because they were afraid with him leaving them. You can imagine you've hung out with the Son of God for three years. And then all of a sudden, he's like, dudes, I'm out of here what hey hey whoa, whoa whoa where are you going but he wanted them to know that they would not be alone he was sending a comforter and a counselor that we call the holy spirit and uh, that that would when you accept jesus that the holy spirit comes to live in you 
And uh, we do things to quench the Holy Spirit. Some of you are followers of Jesus, but you don't spend time with God. You don't read his word. You don't go to church. You don't uh, fill your mind or heart with things of God. And I'm not talking about perfect church attendance. That's not what gets you into heaven. But the fact of the matter is that if you don't spend time with God and uh, talk with Jesus throughout your day, that, you know, that quenches the Holy Spirit in you and you start to lose hope. And I've done that at times in my life when I was less mature in my faith and uh, it showed up but let's uh let, let's let's talk about suicide i mean you know when this happens with people that's why i started this program uh last august of 2017 uh, a 37 year old friend of mine that had done his wedding 10 years before uh, dropped his little girls off at school five and seven and then went home and uh took his own life in his garage uh, was an engineer at a well-known company if i mention it and nobody saw it coming nobody and so John 10, 10 says the thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. And uh, that's what uh, I know of no better example than that right there when somebody commits suicide. But I want to share some recent stats. Uh, people in this country, uh, the United States, die annually by suicide. More people do than in car accidents. I want to say that again. More people in this country die annually by suicide than in car accidents. An American dies by suicide every 12.3 minutes, making it the 10th leading cause of death among Americans. And then how about this stat? And the second leading cause of death for those under the age of 44. The second leading cause of death for those under the age of 44. And friends, that's why I've stepped out in faith to do this. Uh, you know, it, it's it's expensive but i'm glad that people are partnering with me and want to invite you to partner i could use your financial help like all oh, nonprofit ministries in the summer it gets tight and go to hope is here dot today and there's a donate button you may have to scroll down if you do it on your phone but if you do it on a laptop it should be right at the top of the page but hope is here dot today and you can donate but we could greatly use your help financially to make this happen this message of hope because i am I'm just I'm getting angry about those that are uh, ending their own lives. You know, God is the author, the giver of life, and he should decide when we take our last breath on this earth. And yet Satan has got so many people discouraged that they see no hope. And even people that have a lot of material goods. I mean, there's people that lose hope financially or because nobody cares. And yet here's Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain who had all that stuff, and yet they still ended their own lives. And so uh, just want to remind you that without Jesus, there is no hope. And even with him, it gets challenging. And I want you to know that somebody cares. We care. Contact me, Greg, at hopeishere.today. Let somebody know. Uh, email me. I'll follow up with you as soon as I get it. Greg at hope is here dot today. Let's have a conversation. Let's get uh, some help for you because this has got to stop. Did you know also that for every suicide, there are 14 more attempted suicides, and three out of five will try again? For every woman who dies by suicide, four men die by suicide. But women are three times more likely to attempt it. And then, of course, a statistic that you know will not surprise a lot of people, but it's just so sad. Uh, veterans uh, comprise of 22.2% of all suicides, and I can't even imagine what some of our men and women that have served in our military have gone through to let us have the freedoms that we do. And so, in fact, I want to encourage if you see somebody in military, a vet or something, buy their meal for them or at least just thank them for serving with all the freedoms that uh, we have. You know, there's a lot of reasons for committing suicide. Um, but by far, the most reason people commit suicide is because they lose hope. In Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12 says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. Say that again, Proverbs 13, 12, hope deferred makes the heart sick. Studies indicate that 90% of those who attempted to or took their own life had a diagnosable psychiatric order at the time. Most of the time it has its roots in depression. Hope deferred makes the heart sick just like Proverbs 13, 12 says. You know, we all get depressed. We all get the blues. We all get down. We have rainy days. We have Monday mornings. But suicidal depression is much different than having a bad day. Notes left behind confirm these feelings of depression. I'm too lonely. There's no hope. I have nothing left to live for now. I am no good to myself or anyone else. I ruined everyone's life. I've done too much this time. 
What's the cause? I'm lost and scared. I can't go on like this. There's no turning back or some of the things that people leave in notes when they take their own lives. And friends, I thought about doing that several years ago in my life. I, gosh, it's been so long. I can't remember now. Over 15, 20 years. I'm not sure now exactly the time period. But, you know, I thought about that and uh, had a, a family intervention thing. And one of the things that uh, uh, one of my family members told me, I've never forgotten, said, you know, if you decided to end your own life, um, it would be like taking a knife and just to my face and slitting it from the ear to my mouth. And I would have a big, nasty, ugly scar reminding me every time I looked in the mirror that you took your own life, even though I love you and I care about you and I want to help you. And for somebody listening today, maybe that's what you need to be awakened by to realize that there's going to be somebody that and everybody has somebody you say no i don't but i promise you well i know people that have done this and there's always multiple people that say if they would have just said something i would have done anything to help and maybe you're like i've hinted around friends that's not enough you just need to say i am really hurting and for you men out there you've got to be blatantly honest and for those of you that are on the recipient end um, man listen listen and say hey let's get you some help Okay, don't try to give them the attaboy conversation and uh, you have to be careful even with too much spiritual talk. Um, yes, you want to remind them that Romans eight twenty eight, all things do work together. But you know what? Uh, sometimes people just need to know uh, that you love them. Uh, as the old saying goes, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so, you know, I just want you to uh, realize that, you know, suicidal depression is a uh, kind of been described as a spiritual winter a frozen sterile uh kind of unmoving period in your life it's where a person just gives up hope they don't see any way out and they don't see any light at the end of the tunnel and uh, many times these types of depressive illnesses occur when the chemicals in a person's brain get out of balance or become disrupted in some way and they can't look forward to anything there's paranoia, there's anxious thoughts, and uh, they just think it can't be helped, which it's a lie from the enemy. But the honest truth is people, that when they get this deep and depressed, they really can't see any way out. They don't want to die, but they reason it's the only way to stop the pain that I feel. So, friends, uh, if you're at that point in your life, please, please reach out to somebody. Let them know because people want to help, but they don't know sometimes so please reach out to somebody uh you can go to our facebook page uh, that's available and put a private message on there i'll try to get it but you know there is a uh, national suicide hotline that is available for people to be able to reach out and call and it's simply 1-800-273-TALK 1-800-273-TALK or one 800 Two seven three, eight two five five, and this will route you to the nearest crisis center to help you to receive immediate counseling and and get some help. So please, one eight hundred two seven three eight two five five. Well, we're going to talk more about suicide and some of the things that causes that in our next program. Uh, please uh, forward this to somebody. It'll be available on podcasts later today. Go to our website. It is hopeishere.today. That is hopeishere.today. And uh, uh, let people know that uh, there is hope. I'm Greg Horn, and we'll see you tomorrow on Hope Is Here. Kevin Bradley is the number one REMAX real estate agent in the state of Kentucky, and he lives right here in Scott County. Having sold over 200 homes in 2017, Kevin would welcome the opportunity to help you buy or sell your home or answer any real estate questions that you have. Kevin is a proud supporter of Georgetown College men's and women's basketball. Contact Kevin Bradley today at 859-619-9896. That's 859-619-9896 with REMAX Creative Realty. 
CMI is your full-service human resources provider in Central Kentucky. For 15 years, CMI Human Resources has taken great pride in helping organizations and people work. Whether it's employee handbooks or help in filling a position, no job is too large or too small for CMI. Contact the professionals today at CMI Human Resources, 859-296-2800 or online at cmiconsulting.com. 